Hello everyone. Um, the, we will continue with uh, chapter three um, uh, on our subject Bene uh, one two three two. Um, now chapter three is about bipolar junction transistor or short form BJT. Learning outcomes. Uh, at the end of this lecture, you should be able to describe the structure and operation of the uh, bipolar junction transistors and then uh, later on you will calculate DC bias currents and voltages in a basic transistor circuit part one um, what is a transistor transistor is semiconductor device just like a diode okay uh, it controls current okay. it controls current between two terminals based on the sources at the third terminal so transistor will have three terminals like a diode we have only two terminal A and terminal B but transistor the symbol is like this this is terminal A uh, I'll just uh, use the usual name collector base emitter so you have three terminals uh, like diode we have terminal N naught and then there's another one we call it cathode. Uh, transistor is also used for the amplification uh, purpose, meaning uh, the input signal is small, output we want to look at something bigger. Okay. Or even as a switch okay, for electrical signals. These are some of the packages available for a transistor so you can see there is um, various type of packaging you can see there is a usual one that you see in the lab is this one uh, TO92 okay, this is the one that you are going to use a lot and probably this is the second one uh, most common uh, package uh, the rest it's uh, for industry uh, application mostly okay BJT is constructed with three dope uh, semiconductor regions uh, known as base collector and emitter there are two types of BJT transistor which is NPN and PNP so basically if you remember the diode okay um, the structure is looks like this one is P one is N okay so the current flows that way so what happens here in the PNN uh, if we combine two PNN two diodes okay we have PNN we will become something like this NPN so we name this uh, as a collector and then uh, we have a base and then we have an emitter so Combining two diodes, uh, we can form a, a transistor. But combining it, it does not literally combine it. But uh, we actually dope it. Okay, um, we use a doping process uh, or chemical process uh, provide a, a, a semiconductor transistor. Okay, there are two types. The other one is uh, PNP. Okay, collector, base, emitter. Um, the direction is up to you. If you you can have a base at the bottom or at the top. Okay. So so the, the difference between NPN and PNP is um, the one in middle here is the negative. Like this one, the middle is the positive, the middle junction. So to turn it on, you have to send a negative signal for PNP and positive signal for NPN the okay, transistor is like a switch okay uh, let's say there's a you have a wire here and then there's a switch so current wants to flow that way so you will uh, you you will control the switch okay this is at the base so you control the switch when you turn on the current will flow when you turn off the current will stop flowing that's that's basically that's about it Besides that, it, it will also amplify uh, this signal. Let's say this size signal output there is much much bigger, like um, that big. Okay, 
so this is what we call amplify amplification of the signal by the transistor okay there are two types of VJT transistors uh, we have NPN and PNP as I mentioned previously okay you are, this is the schematic symbol um, collector base emitter okay, collector base emitter so what's the difference between NPN and PNP the the doping of uh, negative and positive uh, location so NPN the P is in the middle uh, which is the base for PNP N is in the middle which is the base uh, take note at the uh, the direction of the arrow okay the direction of the arrow will determine whether it is a NPN or PNP let me write it down here determine the NPN or PNP the operation of the transistor is the same as the operation it comes from uh, it's, uh, it has something to do with the interchange of electron and holes okay I'm not going to go to into that detail uh, Depending on the biasing across each of the junctions, uh, different modes of operation are obtained. Okay, for example, cut off, active, and saturation. Okay, we will learn about this um, probably in the later chapter. Um, as you can see, we have a EBJ emitter base junction, collector base junction. Okay, they are also acting like a forward and reverse okay remember when I mentioned uh, uh, we can combine two diodes so it's something like this for example so this is um, collector emitter and base here so EBJ emitter base junction okay emitter and base junction so this junction eh? EBJ and the other one is collector base junction C B G. Okay, um, I should have uh, draw it study here. So this is collector base junction. So uh, basically, cut off means uh, it's uh, off. Okay, we will learn into in uh, the detail of this later on. And saturation is uh, meaning fully on. Active, uh, um, it's uh, on, but it's um, going in the middle of it. Okay, there is a special characteristic of it uh, when it is um, under different mode. Okay, biasing. Um, if you can see, this is a VBC voltage of base and collector. Eh? So base and collector and then we have VBE plus minus VBE okay so meaning the voltage um, between base and emitter VBC is with voltage between base and collector and then we have another one VCE collector emitter voltage okay between this and this Oh, sorry what did I draw here this is negative I click the base uh, base VBC okay so we are referring to this direction VBE and also VBC and also we have IC which is here the direction of current and then we have IE and then this one is IC just now and then we have let me delete the rest of it this is IB the okay, IC for collector current IE for emitter current and IB for base current Okay, e equation for transistor current uh, basically it comes from this 
um, this is I C I E N I B. So uh, assuming it's a like a junction, this is I C, this is I E, this is I B. So if you do a uh, uh, Kirchhoff uh, current law uh, using not not uh, equation, summation of not uh, is equal to zero uh, at that one node. So we have I I E is the output. So I E equals to I C plus I B. So the currents going out of the junction is equal to summation of current going in to the junction. So going in is the I C and I B, and going out is the I E. Okay. So these data are actually based from experiment. Yeah. So that's why we have uh, this equation is coming up. Right, next equation. There are two parameters that you need to know: uh, DC alpha and DC beta. Okay, what is alpha and beta? They are what we call ratio of something. Okay, we will look into it after this. Okay, so alpha is the ratio of IC over IE. Okay. I C over I E here this is the transistor here is I C and then here is I E so ratio of I I C over I E is alpha but how much is it normally it's almost equals to one meaning what meaning I C is equal to I E because they are equals to one because meaning what they 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 are same of the same value almost yeah? almost have the same value okay ic equals to ie next um uh, the relationship between alpha and beta okay i cannot do that okay never mind the relationship between alpha and beta Alpha is uh, beta over beta plus one. Okay, so alpha which is also equals to I C over I E. So these are some of the equations that we already learned. And then beta is also a ratio of I C and I B. Okay, beta equals to ratio of I C over I B. Okay, beta is actually known also known as a gain for the transistor. Gain means um, this is base uh, collector emitter. Gain means uh, if this one is one volt peak to peak uh, output the output probably goes uh, like um, 20 volt peak to peak so what's the gain the gain is output over input ratio how many times so 20 to 1 it, the gain is 20 okay so basically that's the thing the gain is uh, ratio of output over input so in this case uh, beta equals to IC over IB meaning the ratio of current okay. IC here which is also IE over IB so the ratio of current of uh, output current over uh, input current okay this value depends on the type of the transistor I can also simplify this IC equals to beta IB. This is the most common or the usual formula that I would recommend you to memorize. Um, how does how did you how can you come up with this equation? There is no derivation of it. You have to do the experimental process 
whereby once you have the uh, many data that you get you you will find the ratio because beta is actually a, a constant a ratio okay basically a number or ratio a constant so there is no unit for this because uh, IC is in ampere IB is also in ampere you divide them it's just a number or showing a ratio okay no unit so overall we have I uh, just now we have the IE equals IB plus IC and then IC equals to beta IB so you replace that into IC so it becomes IE equals to IB plus beta IB and then IE equals to IB over beta plus 1 right okay transistor configuration there are three basically possible ways to connect a transistor within an electronic circuit each method each method correspond uh, each method of connection responds differently to the input signals okay um common base amplifier common emitter amplifier common collector amplifier common base what do you mean by common base uh meaning the base Okay, the transistor goes like this probably this is collector this is emitter this is base so base here is connected to a common of the circuit common uh, could be like a ground or probably like a VCC okay so common means uh, you have output voltage and input voltage is common here okay output signal and input signal have a common at uh, at the base of the transistor so this is what we call common base common emitter is like this the transistor like this uh, collector here and then emitter here okay uh, either you have a transistor here or not uh, the emitter is common here meaning uh, input signal could be like this and then it's common to the output voltage Okay, so input and output voltage is common. Probably it, it will be having the same ground, or uh, probably uh, the same um, VCC. Depends on the circuit configuration, but if if it's like this, uh, meaning uh, common to the input and output. Uh, and the other one is the collector, uh, common collector amplifier, meaning the collector uh, is uh, the to become the common point. So we put it the other way around. This is base, this is emitter, this is collector. For example, eh? so the collector, collector is connected to both uh, common input and output. Okay, output is let's say. So here, collector is common. Uh, either you have a resistor or not here. So here in this case, a collector is common to the VCC. Why? Minus plus. Minus plus. So VCC here is here. Okay, let's look into this uh, common base configuration. As I mentioned just now, like this for example, uh, base is common uh, to the input and output supply. Input and output signal. The input signal being connected with between the base and emitter terminals and output signal taken from the base and collector terminals generally used in a single stage amplifier circuits such as, such as microphone and RF radio amplifiers so what, what is important here is you know this configuration this is a common base how to identify if it's common base if you see here output uh, signal and input signal are common here at the base so we call them as common base next one is common emitter if you can see here okay um, whatever that says here is just can be can just be uh, explained through this diagram and as I mentioned previously the emitter is common here right so this is the input voltage and then this is the output voltage they are common at the emitter point right so as long as you can identify then you're, you're all right Okay, uh, this is a uh, commonly used uh, setup uh, or configuration because it will produce highest voltage, current and power gain. 
so okay something like that in other words this is uh, this is uh, the best configuration the most common one and uh, last one is the common collector uh, as I mentioned the collector is common uh, even though you have a resistor here but it is common to the input and also to the output voltage okay so output voltage is connected to this uh, collector and input voltage is connected to this collector as well so here is the positive eh? minus plus so this one is actually VCC eh? so we call this common collector This type of configuration is commonly known, also known as emitter follower. Okay, so common collector is emitter follower. Right. Okay, uh, the three DC voltages for the bias transistor we have a uh, collector voltage, base voltage, and emitter voltage simply as this so this is b b b plus minus and then uh, v e let's say this is a transistor uh, resistor in ground so this is v e plus minus and then there is a v c plus and minus to the ground i'll just drag it here The collector voltage VC is uh, VCC equals to V uh, VC equals to VCC minus ICRC. Okay, this equation can be derived. How do you derive it? Okay, let's say we have um, a circuit like this. Okay, uh, that is a VCC. Oh, sorry this is RC so this is PCC okay so this is how you translate uh, let's say if you have a this is ground a symbol like this VCC so basically this is like you have this VCC is like uh, you extend this uh, battery voltage like that Okay, so this is your VCC basically. So the positive part is connected to here. So if you do put cut your voltage law, this is plus minus, this is plus minus. So VCC, okay, minus IC, RC, minus, what is this? This is VC, eh? plus and ground between this and ground minus vc equals to zero so you rearrange this you get vc equals to vcc minus ic rc so this is what you get okay why why this ic rc ic rc is the voltage v uh, across rc okay uh, we call it uh, we can call it VRC okay it goes to IC RC but VC here is also you can have a VC equals to VCE call it emitters because emitter is connected to ground here so VC equals to VCE is the same thing okay we are referring to the same point unless you have a resistor here then it's different okay it's just a, this is just a basically the explanation all right base voltage what is base voltage okay again we draw a transistor and then uh, this is b 
okay so we bid it basically uh, it's like this you have a battery here ground so this is VB and then you have a BBE here and then let's say you have a resistor here and then this is your BE plus minus this is VE so uh, if you do a your voltage law it's the same thing lah. Um, either way you like let's say this way so VB minus VBE minus VE equals to zero so VB equals to VE plus VBE so what we get here is the equation from this loop so base okay, voltage emitter voltage and emitter base junction voltage Okay, the value depends on the type of doping okay for example if you have a silicon for VBE eh? VBE here remember uh, we said uh, it's like um, a, a dial like that a collector base emitter so VBE is the voltage plus minus there so here is basically uh, uh, if it's silicon then it is a uh, VBE equals to 0 0.7 volt uh, most of our of our example we got we are going to use silicon so just assume VBE is 0 0.7 volt and then finally the emitter voltage remember that this circuit we have uh, a resistor there so here is VE this is VB, this is VC so here emitter voltage is uh, plus minus eh, VE so which is equal to VRE okay, voltage across this uh, which is equal to IE RE right so that's the end of the part one now uh, uh, I have a quiz for you that uh, you have to do um, the quiz is the question is you you rewrite all the equation that I have uh, taught you just now and uh, rewrite on a piece of paper um, and then you you show the derivation of it what you can and then finally you put a summary in a box all the equations in one box Okay, you write it on a piece of paper and you upload it into ULEARN. Okay, I will create a, the link after this. So this is your quiz one. It's like a free mark. So you just do your work, then you're, you're right.